Okay, hi guys. It's me, I'm back. Alright, um, I think I've got something I want to try to talk to y'all about. It's a little bit tough. And what we're going to talk about here is the geckos and the pigeons, kind of, and on the way to 5D, not 5G, 5, the fifth dimension, where I'm going, and anyone who likes can come with, and I'm making that, uh, trying to help people in that path, so to speak. Not that it's any better or any worse than any other path, it's simply the path that I've chose to go on, and I'm trying to help anybody who also wants to um, go down that road. Because it is tricky. It is a tricky road to say the least. Alright, so I want to talk a little bit about the energy that you have. Whenever you go to 3D, everybody has energy. You're directly connected to source, and that never, ever stops. What does stop is due to faith, faith, beliefs, um, all kinds of things here that you have been raised with, is you will cut off, pinch off that energy from source. You can abs kind of refuse it. You like, here's a circle of it, and that's a beam of energy. It's very intense, high volume, good for you energy that's like this big. And what you can do is you can collapse it like this, and pinch that and make it smaller and smaller so that you only have a tiny, tiny tad of the energy that is available. Because there's, well, all the energy is available that you would ever, ever, ever need. Uh, but what you do is you pinch that off and you say, I'm not worthy. Um, I have to do these rituals in order to, to get that energy from wherever God uh, most people say God, but if you say source or God or whatever, it doesn't really matter who you believe that it's from. If you're still pinching that off to yourself from source, you still have an issue and you're a long ways away from 5D. So what we need to talk about is how to connect to that energy. Well, I noticed, I realized today, I was talking to Marsha, and I realized that the New Agers have done, well, they've drawn attention to the chakra system. And the chakra system is taking that dot, that circle of energy that you're directly attached to, to source, and they've divided it. They divided it into different circles, and those all circles all go to that one circle that's coming into you. And they've divided it into these different areas. Well, that's a part of the 3D fractaline. So I have talked about this before, that you do need to get rid of those chakras. You're not going to go to 5D with any kind of chakra system. Because it is a fractaline. So think that the energy came into you, your body, or coming into your body, through... Um, the high heart is where it comes. And then the belief system was taught to everybody that you have, I don't know, what is it, 7 or 13 or 19, whatever different chakras in your body, and you have to deal with each one of them. And they're supposed to look a certain way, and they're, the energy is supposed to swirl, I think, a certain way, and they all have to be connected um, correctly. Well, that's a lot of issues that you have to deal with in order to, can you see, okay, you've got to fix this and this and this and all these options of, okay, well, I've got the root one done. Uh, now all of, all of them are done. I had them done except for the root and it went out of um, kilter. So I fixed that, but now my throat chakra is out of wax. So now I've got to go up there and do that. And all the different combinations that can go into play that can mess this up to get them out of alignment. If they're out of alignment, that collapses that circle of energy from source down into a smaller amount because you don't have it right. That's what you're saying. You don't have it right. You've got to get these things all right in order to get that energy from source into you. Well, that's simply not true. There is nothing you need to do to get it right, to get that energy full blast to you. 
But as I got sidetracked, what they've done is with these chakras is there's a root chakra, I think that's the lowest one, and then it goes up to your crown chakra. And I know that I've heard them say, a lot of people say about opening up your crown and then the crown goes to source or you know something akin to that that you're going to go align these things from the root which is to mother earth which it is um, once you divide them and you believe in it all those things that they say that your chakras are well they are now because you've taken that energy that's coming into your body and you've split it up and you've made different parts be ruled by different things that look a different way but that's because you did it not because it's naturally that way all of this stuff is because we built it this way it's not naturally anything it's naturally it's everything so and then it moves up until the crown and there I think there might be one right above that I don't really know uh, that much about the chakra system but I do know that it all lines up and you open it up and then that goes to source so I was looking at people, I don't know, arbitrarily, um, and I, I was watching a group of people that were doing meditation uh, to align their chakras and open up whatever that highest one was and connect it to source. And I realized that they weren't connecting to source, they were connecting to pigeons. And, um, and I was going, oh my gosh, I've got to tell them this, that when you... Your, the energy that comes from source does not come in through your crown chakra. It doesn't come in from above. That above is a fourth dimensional game. Uh, above is. Above is a, a fourth dimensional game. So if you're going up and opening up and going, actually I went to the sun and then pigeons is what it went to. Not that the sun is necessarily pigeons, although the sun does have beings on it that are pigeons for sure. But it was going, that energy was going up to our sun, and then it was going to whatever pigeon was running the show on that meditation, whatever pigeon group it was. But it was going up when it went up, and out of curiosity, I went, oh, okay. So what they're doing is they're taking that energy that comes into the human body, and then they're splitting it up into these chakras so that somebody is sidetracked, and that, de that um, brings energy into the human body because a person is like, okay, I want to deal with all these chakras. So you actually are bringing in more energy from source, but it's being split up into these we'll say seven, seven chakras, which have an incredible amount of energy, each and every one of them individually, but then you're taught they all have to be aligned and fixed because you're not good enough. In that process, you've now brought in a bunch of energy. They're in each one of these chakra swirling vortexes of energy and split up. However, so that you're, so that you're kept busy with them, your body, your life does not get anything from bringing in this additional energy because that additional energy that you've opened this up to bring into your body is being used to handle the problems that are that are have now been created by your belief system by creating the chakras to begin with and by believing that they have to um, be aligned a certain way in order for you to raise your vibration so you're bringing in this additional i mean it's genius you're bringing in this additional um energy which humans have access to incredible amount of, of energy that the geckos and the um pigeons are trying to get to so here they are they've got you in this belief system that you've got all these chakras and they have to be aligned and you have to do a meditation to bring in source energy in order to fix them and realign them so that you can raise your vibration and get moving along here okay so now you've you believe this and now it's true so you open up this energy that that's all you needed to begin with you just need to open this up and bring it in but 
No, let's not go there right now. So you've opened this up, and now that energy is going into these chakras, or seven chakras, in order to get them lined up, straightened up, in order for you to to open up and and run them smoothly so that you can send it out through your crown chakra into um, out into the fourth dimension where the pigeons nab it. <laughs> the pigeons are now nabbing it. They're getting that energy. So you are you with me now? So you came in to say um, a religious group or on the internet or whatever and they convinced you that this will help you. So you you feel like um, depressed and no energy and if you do have energy you're extremely um, agitated so you they give you all your symptoms and you match and you follow their rules you see yeah this sounds like this is for me so what has happened is you pinched off because you believe that you're not good enough uh, most humans are taught this you're not good enough so you're not good enough so this energy is pinched down and you don't get very much so you don't feel good because you're not very attached to the energy from home. And so you want to get more of that. You instinctively know that. So you follow what their suggestions are. And you go into this meditative state and they shall tell you about these chakras. Now this energy that's coming in from source that's like this is now you've brought it in and you've divided it into not one energy vortex of vortex of energy coming from source but now there's seven of them and I think there's even more as I've said before now there's seven of them so in order to make seven of them you had to make this circle of energy coming into you bigger you had to bring in more you didn't know you were doing that but you did so you brought in more and you divided it into this seven now these people whether they're conscious of it or not because some people that are leading you to do this they've done it they feel better and they've gotten it from somewhere someone else and i won't name names so what you do is you've drawn in more energy you create these chakras you go into these meditative states you open this up even bigger feed those chakras even more you're going to align them you're going to turn them they're, they're going to be the right color all of this stuff is opening up that energy to source feeding all of those chakras now when you've got it ramped up really high and they know when really high is and they're ready to feed on your energy then they talk you through lining them up opening up your crown chakra you open up your crown chakra the energy goes up through the sun into 4d in the higher ranges and the pigeons nab it like that in return, you get not any, you don't get energy back. You get a feeling of love, of satisfaction, of relief, of incredibly that you have helped people, that you have helped people, that you have, that this state that you're in, this um, lined up and, and sending that energy out into source, back to source, that you have helped Mother Earth on, on this planet. In reality, you have charged your battery up, you pulled energy from source, and you fed it to the, the pigeons. Okay? So what do you do what do you do to keep it? Well the first thing that you do is you realize that there is no seven chakras at, at all. Okay? There is it's in your high heart, your connection is in your high heart, and your high heart is exactly what it sounds like. It is your heart the energy of true unconditional love in your heart and it is high it is above your real heart it floats above it up here in this empty space and it moves around like that okay and that is where that spark of energy directly from source lies so what you do is you go into a meditative state i um, sorry this camera's moving around I hope you guys don't feel like you're you're uh, seasick in the process of this. So it's kind of connected sort of on the other bed, and Stephanie is over there um, watching me, so there's a little bit of movement there. So you can blame it on Stephanie. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Everybody says hi back. I know this. <laughs> I'm psychic. So anyway, let's go back to it. So if you want to do it without uh, pigeons stealing your energy, and that's one of their major ways of stealing energy is uh, 
the, what I just described. So if you want to increase that energy connection with source so you can raise your vibration, walk into 5D, you're going to go through um, your high heart. You're going to go where it directly comes into your consciousness, through your consciousness, into your skin suit. And that's in your high heart. And it goes to your whole body. It does not divide into seven chakras unless you want it to, unless you believe it to be so. But I don't have chakras. Stephanie never has had chakras. I had chakras for about a week before I figured it out that, that because I could see where the energy was going. So you're going to concentrate on attaching yourself, that you're worthy, that you're a god, that you're powerful, all of those things you're going to repeat to yourself over and over again. And that will unblock that um, that thing, you know, I don't know what to call it, that is pinching off that energy from source to you. The more you do that and believe it, the bigger this becomes and more energy comes to you. And automatically there is a merging when you do that like um, in fourth dimension with pigeons they talk about this exchange of energy there needs to be an equal exchange of energy and that's true in 4g 4d even i said it 4d and it's and it is true um in 3d up to 4d but it is not true in 5d now it will seem at times that there, the 5Ds is the same as 4Ds, but it is not. And the reason why it's not is because 4D is an exchange. I send you energy, you send me energy. I send you energy, you send me energy. Back and forth equally. And that in on your way up to 5D, then you will do this energy exchange. But basically what you're doing is you're doing a vampirical action uh, back and forth between each other. I suck energy from you, and then you suck energy from me. I suck, whoa. I suck energy from you, you suck energy from me. We go back and forth, back and forth. And what they're talking about is there's an equal exchange. Now with pigeons... There's never an equal exchange. They just take. And they'll give, they take about 90%, give you back 10%. But because they're giving you what appears to be um, true love, it feels so good that most people accept that 10% of energy and they're happy with that exchange. And uh, the pigeons are going to give you the least amount that they have to to keep you coming back for more. So, okay, so in 4D, uh, for, for, from 3D on up to the high 4Ds, you're going to have a vampirical exchange of energy. That's how it works because you've forgotten that you are all-powerful God connected to the all that is. In the lowest um, areas of 3D, this is very, very slow and becomes very painful that there have been all kinds of horrible ways that people have taken that energy from people. And then there's been insidious ways that you didn't even realize it was going on. That's been going on for a long time. Now we're going into 4D, and there are different ways that they do it, like the chakra system, for one thing. And uh, geckos are doing it the same way they always have, by brute force, uh, by making you do what they want you to do or convince you that their way is the best way and to join them. But the pigeons become... Um, sneaky in that um, they lure you in and they use they're these things sneaky. like yeah, and they're always sneaky stuff <laughs> um, they're, they're like this uh, chakra system that they get you all involved in and then they hype up these batteries and then they say okay you're ready, they open them up and they suck it out of you and hopefully after you've done that and they suck it out of you that pinching off that you did the goal is for it to be a little bit bigger so they can stay attached to you and stay feeding off that energy. And then they'll give you like that 10% of love back, but it will wear off pretty real soon. And like any addiction, you'll want more 
they will say, okay, I've got more to give you. Here, now I want you to do this, and you'll do it. You'll open up a little bit more. You'll go dump off. They'll suck it out of you, give you a 10% return on investment, and then you'll run out of it, and on and on and on we go. That's how it does it. And some people uh, will eventually get tired of it and say, you're full of it, I don't believe in you anymore. And they'll drop that religion, that pigeon group, and go look for another one. The other one will have different things that they're using, but essentially they're doing the same thing. They'll go over there, people go over there, and they'll do it, and they'll do it until they say, wait a minute, I'm doing it again, and they'll leave that church and go to another one, and they just keep on until they find something. Okay, that's how that's what they're doing. Now, um, how does that work? Well, it it works with things like exactly what I was trying to tell you guys, in that you are not when you are empathetic and compassionate. This is a vampirical exchange of energy. Okay, if you are in, a, if you're involved in a exchange of any kind whether you're just talking or if you're caring for somebody if you're interacting with somebody and you are giving them something then that is i mean if you're giving them your uh, energy in any way whether it's prayer whether it's cleaning their dishes whatever whatever and i'm not saying any of that stuff is wrong i'm not that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is those are 4d energy levels because if you were on a fifth a 5d energy level with someone you you would just simply wait and watch for them to fix it as a god they don't need your help they don't need anybody's help they're a god they can fix it on their own they don't need anything so if you are sending them energy of empathy or compassion you're saying you're not good enough here let me help you and i can give you this help that you need to get where you need to be in 5d what you do is you sit back and you say hey you got this girl you you got this and you sit stand by them hold their hand and send them nothing other than your presence and your awareness that we are all one and they can do, say, be anything that they want to because they're gods. If you stand by them and you hold their hand and you send, send compassion, you are in the energy vampire game. You are going to their side and you are going here. Here is energy from me because you need it. And they will take it. They will take compassion from other people because they're sick. Let's say they're sick at the hospital. Uh, they had surgery, they're coming out of it. So everybody sends prayers and visits and flowers, and they send all of that stuff to the person, and the person takes all that stuff and sends it usually into the chakra system, okay? And takes that energy and helps the body get better. It works like a charm, absolutely works like a charm. And usually what happens is the person gets out of the hospital and this is over time. And they write thank you notes for all the kind words and and gifts. And uh, the energy goes back. Now that's energy that's going back to the people that gave energy. And then you wait. And eventually down the road, your friend had surgery herself. And she needs your you to send. Um, oh, no. She's, she's out of the hospital. Now you've had surgery. And you need her to send you energy and then you will and different people send different things and that energy comes back and over time then what is this what this this energy exchange happens whether it's in the uh, grocery store and you see somebody who needs help or um, they don't look like they're there's a homeless person who looks like they're miserable out on the front stoop and they need your help whether you choose to stop and send energy to them just noticing them is um, very powerful very very powerful okay so y'all understand that being in the 4d game and that energy going up and out 
into 4D where it's snapped up. I'm usually the pigeons because they're the ones that set it up. And that is very different than going through your high heart directly to source. When you go through source, you don't go through <coughs> anyone else. You can't do it. You cannot go to that energy that is in source. You cannot go through me or the Bible or the Torah or um, any of that stuff. You cannot go through any of that to get to the energy that is source and merge into oneness. You cannot do it through anything. That's between you and you. And what you're doing is you're going to that energy that's pinched off, realizing where it is, and saying, okay, that's, you know, that's oneness. That's me. That's, that's me as a God. I can do anything. And you do that over and over, whatever way you want. You can repeat it to you while you're staring at yourself in the mirror. You can do meditations regarding it. But whatever way you need to do that, you're going to go to that high heart place where that energy is coming in. Breathe deep. Pull it in. Make it look like a bigger beam of light and a bigger beam of light and a bigger beam of light. And it's bigger and bigger and bigger until it covers you completely and it covers the animals here completely. It covers everything and everyone here that's interested in being a part of oneness around you, right? And you make that as big as you want. Now, you probably won't. But when you get that energy so big and so strong that you are all sitting in oneness, because that's what it is, you are in source. You have now merged with source. You're probably not going to do that, but you can get to the point where you are merging on a place where other beings are also understanding that we're all one. That's 5D. Where you're still in your separate human condition, but you are now using energy that is from source. Okay. That, she was yawning. I thought she was saying something, or I needed to say something different. So the, basically the energy is big enough around you that you are very aware of what it is, where it is, how much of it it is. So that you won't just pop, you pop into, you certainly can and you will when you're in fifth dimension, you know, get all engulfed and step in, merge into source and then you can step out right where you left if you wish. And you will, whenever you're in fifth dimension, you will do that. But you'll go to a certain stage where you're bringing in the energy and that's how you will uh, remember. With all that energy becomes knowledge, comes knowledge with that. Um, energy, because that energy is uh, carrying uh, data. Um, how do I explain that? There's like information on the in that light, light beams, energy beams. Anyway, there's information in everything. Yeah, there's and there's information in that. So when it comes in and it's so much, because it's very very tightly packed. Even when you open it up, you open it up just a little bit to bring in a tiny bit more and you'll be flooded with information. And that's just a tiny bit. Okay? So, you want to go through your high heart to increase your vibration. Open that up so that you can merge with oneness so that you can lose your amnesia so that you can raise your vibration in a controlled way so that you can get to 5d earth and eventually home and then in 4d is where you do an energy exchange and 4d is where there's energy exchange in 5d there's energy merging with the all that is to, and there's an understanding that every other being it can and does merge with source and get everything it wants um, through that route, through that energy that is a part of source that you're a part of, and there's a oneness in that. It's not an exchange. It's an understanding that it always was and it always will be. You always were and you always will be everything that you want or need or anybody else does is there and has always been there so there's not an exchange there's just an understanding it's always been there you don't have to exchange it 
it's there. It's just there. 4D is a, a, a game where you're in um, amnesia, where you understand that, well, it, if you're playing 4D and you're raising your vibration, you want to go from the geckos who absolutely do not, they're not in it to be an equal exchange. They're in it to take as much of your energy and give you as least as possible. That's the geckos game as a general rule. They do not see anything wrong with this, by the way. They think that it's absolutely the best way to go. That's what they believe. And pigeons, as a general rule, and I'm not saying all of them, because there's so many of everybody, but the pigeons, as a general rule, they strive towards an equal exchange and an understanding that with this equal exchange, over and over with different people, that that will add a combination of that and raising your vibration, that you can raise your vibration and go to heaven, source, whatever, a, a grand place, uh, which is actually where they're standing. They just need to raise their vibration to see it. Okay? Does that make sense, Stephanie? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Um, that was kind of complex, and maybe it will understand why I put my foot down on the compassion thing. The people really, really, really want me to say that I'm compassionate, and I really, really, really am not going to. <laughs> because I'm not going to get caught in this exchange game of uh, fourth dimension. Uh, it's easy to get trapped in fourth dimension anyway. I do not need to play with fire. So, no, I'm going to be going with the merging of, of the all that is into me, into the all that is, um, and watch them as I go by and wave and say, have great fun. You're looking great over there. Um, yeah. Okay, so hopefully that will make sense. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support with PayPal and Patreon. It is so appreciated. It, I can't even tell you how much it helps, especially with the rebuild of the of the bus. Um, I really, really help. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you so much for your comments. And it also helps trigger me so much for y'all to ask questions. So please feel free to ask questions. There is no no such thing as a, um, as a stupid question. Absolutely no such thing. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for me. Huge hugs. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.